Hey guys, Holiday Master here, and uh, today I got a little video for you guys. I've been meaning to do this for a few days, uh, but I've had a few things been going on, so uh, finally got to it. Um, this is a custom I made, nothing really special. Um, for my display this year, I'm going to do a donation box, um, just to try it out, see how it works. But, um, yeah, so anyway, you guys have probably seen this witch before. I've used it outside before, and, uh, I can't even remember where it came from. Um, we bought it in that butler. I still gotta find the butler. I don't know where he went. Um, I know I've done a video of the butler before, but I don't know if I've done one on this witch. Um, it's, it's not Jimmy. I don't remember the company. It was a cheapo company. It has the uh, base like a spiral light up tree. Um, has three poles. Originally was five foot. And originally what it did was you set, you know, the sensor would go off and the ball would light up and make bubbling spell and the witch cackling noises and stuff like that. The ball still lights up. There's no sound. Um, so what what it does, sorry, I thought I heard something. So what I've turned it into is I bumped it from five foot down to four foot with two poles going up from the base to a little circular. Uh, actually, it is the Jimmy life-sized head base. I had a spare one from one of my old Santa Clauses, and that's actually, let me get up close here, I'll show you. It's actually what it is. Um, shoot, I super, or hot glued all this on here. Um, I don't think you can really see. But yeah, the pole fit perfectly in that middle piece, and I ran a screw through it instead of the metal pole. And I hot glued all the clothing on. I zip tied in it, the wires and everything to the pole. Sadly, the only thing that came undone was the nuts, the uh, wire nuts here. They were underneath all the clothing, but I left it for this reason. So I took that uh, ring that usually goes around this, so it just goes back and forth. I took it off, mainly because that's what kept it from turning left and right, you know, for the life sizes. But because this is not programmed to anything, and it's just live, the, I mean, the motor is just constantly spinning, I took that off so her head can completely spin around. Her hair used to be down to here, like, but I had to cut it because it kept getting twisted up. So I had to cut it. Um... So yeah, then I had my sister paint all this because it was just a plastic head. I told her I didn't care how it looked. Just paint it green if you wanted to. And so she did. Um, I mean, it's nothing really special. It's just, it was a neat custom I had, you know, I had an idea for. Um, now I did take two videos, one at night, one at day. Uh, when I got the head spinning without the clothes, I could upload after this video. Um, just to show you guys what it looked like underneath and everything. Um, so yeah, it is all hooked up. Everything, the ball and the motor to the head is hooked up, I think, to a 6-volt adapter. Let me look. 3-volt, um, my bad. 3-volt uh, adapter. Um, I have one laying around, uh, so yeah, so, um, without further ado, I'll plug it in, but before I, actually, wait, before I plug it in, I will, I'll say what I'm going to do with this. If you guys remember that plastic house I used as a gingerbread house for Christmas, and I, you guys can see it in my display videos and everything if you really want to go back and look, if not, wait a few weeks, you'll be seeing videos of it. Um, so I'm taking a side of that house because I tore it apart because I was originally going to paint it like a gingerbread house, then I ran out of time. Well, there's still time, I just 
don't know if I want to do that. I'll just screw it back together and everything. But, um, anyway, so I'm going to take the front or the side of the house. And, uh, because there's a window, I'm going to put the window there. I'm going to put her inside the window. And then I'm going to take my metal poles and put around her. And then put, like, a tarp around her. Uh, or something to keep her not, you know, that won't let the rain or anything get in there um and that's what my donation box is going to be so yeah i thought it'd be a neat little idea um now i don't know if it will work but i did this will be hooked up to the house with her it is the old sound box off my 2007 pirate ship but if you guys remember that was fried and rusted out so it's no longer the pirate ship. It is actually a Jemmy item. I don't, I used to have it as a kid. It was a plastic pumpkin globe and the, the base was all pumpkins. The globe was like a globe part with a pumpkin top with a scarecrow in the middle. And you press the button and it played this song. You know, the fan at the bottom turned on and the bats went around and the there's a green and blue light. I do remember that. Um, so the, <laughs> the motherboard is in here hooked to the speaker and sensor. It's the only thing left I have from that. Uh, there is one I got or I found on eBay that I'm kind of watching, but it's a little expensive. So I, I don't know yet. So anyway, I put it all together and then I hot glued it all together just to seal everything off rather than taping it. Um, again, because it was the way it was, this was able to use a six volt. So this, this is the six volt I use on my spinners. Um, I have a few of these, so I just took this one cause it's lighter, but the plan is she'll sit in here in this window. This will kind of sit in the corner because it's light, uh, it's sensitive to light. So the plan is, you know, people driving by and everything, it'll set the, the, the sensor off pretty much. Um, but if I, you know, if I find out that's not working, I'm going to go and switch it because there's a switch on the inside, switch it to, so it always stays on just to see how that goes. So, uh, yeah, guys, I'll do the witch and then I'll try the sound box to see if it, uh, works. But, uh, so yeah, and then something else I didn't, I couldn't really show the third pole, cause there's two up and down that left one left. I, uh, put it kind of like from the bottom here up. That's what this is sitting on. Um, because the arms are too weak. They're just two metal rods. It, it, I tried it and the ball would either fall out of her hands or go down. So I just put that pole there, you know, to hold the ball up. But, uh, so yeah, again, it's nothing much, just a little creation. I got a little creative, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah. So again, guys, original lights. I just took the speaker out, um, of that, I think. I can't remember what I did something to it because the bottom was broken but um so yeah here that is and one thing I want to say this thing is actually built pretty sturdy I don't know how it's cheap it, it's held together with hot glue zip ties and uh, electrical tape and screws there it is held together with some screws but uh yeah so I'm going to stake down the bottom. That's how I'll leave her in there. And I'll actually have a pole behind her to, and zip tie her to that pole just to be safe because you guys know the wind at my place can get bad. Um, so yeah. Um, now I left her on, I think, the day I made her, I left her on for probably a little over an hour just to make sure this motor didn't get hot and surprisingly it didn't so I think it'll be good to go
but um I really wanted to add like lights to her eyes but I couldn't because you know it's spinning constantly I mean I could but I don't have the material to do that right now but um so yeah there's the witch I'll let her head go the whole way back around now I'm gonna plug this box in Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so. And sometimes you gotta hold it under the lamp. So, oh. Anyway guys, I did that real quick just to show you what my idea of it was. That music kind of fits the fact that her head is spinning, so I thought it was pretty cool, you know, to do that. So, uh, yeah guys, I guess that's it for this video. So, thanks for watching, and peace out.